Welcome back to another session of Mathematics Made Easy. Today our topic is number system. There in that Euler quotient function. We are going to learn about Euler quotient function. Now Euler quotient function uh, definition is statement is when phi of n is equal to phi of n is a function here. Phi of n is equal to number of positive integers less than n and uh, relatively prime to n. The positive integers which are relatively prime to n, where n is greater than or equal to 1. So that uh, Euler quotient function is uh, defined as phi of n equal to number of positive integers less than n and relatively prime to n, where n value is greater than or equal to 1. Let us uh, take a number phi of 5. Now we are finding the positive integers which are less than 5 and uh, relatively prime to 5. If we take 1, the GCD of 1 comma 5 is 1. So 1 and 5 are relatively prime numbers. Similarly, if we take 2, GCD of 2 comma 5 is 1. 3, GCD of 3 comma 5 is 1. 4, GCD of, GCD of 4 comma 5 is equal to 1. So phi of 5 is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4. Similarly, if we take phi of 7, which is equal to GCD of 1 comma 7 is 1, 2 comma 7 GCD is 1, 3 comma 7 GCD is 1, similarly 4, 5, 6. So GCD of 4 comma 7 is 1, GCD of 5 comma 7 is 1, GCD of 6 comma 7 is also equal to 1. Now, from this we can understand 5 is a prime number here, 7 is a prime number. So, Euler's quotient function for prime numbers, phi of p is equal to, here we, are, we can write it as 5 minus 1. And similarly, here we can write it as 7 minus 1. So, phi of p is equal to p minus 1. If the given number is a prime number, number of positive integers which are relatively prime to the given number n is equal to p minus 1, nothing but where p is a prime number here. Now, this is the first case. Let us go to the second case and take a composite number. For example, let us take phi of 10. Now, phi of 10 is equal to 1 comma 10. GCD is 1. If we take 2, GCD of 2 comma 10 is 2. So, we should not take 2. We can take 3. GCD of 3 comma 10 is 1. And we should not take 4. Because GCD of 4, 10 is equal to 2. And similarly, we should not take 5 also. GCD of 5, 10 is 5. And 6 we should not take. GCD of 6, 10 is 2. And GCD of 7, 10 we can take. GCD of 7, 10 is equal to 1. And similarly, 8 we should not select. 9 we can take. GCD of 9, 10 is equal to 1. So, 1, 3, 7, 9. This is the Euler's quotient function of 10. Now it is phi of 10. Here 10 is a composite number. Now phi of 10 can be written as phi of 2 into 5 product of primes. Then phi of 2 into phi of 5. Here again 2 is a prime number. Apply that previous formula. Phi of prime number is equal to p minus 1. So, phi of 2 is equal to 2 minus 1 into phi of 5 is 5 minus 1 which is equal to 1 into 4 is equal to 4. So, whenever we are taking a composite number, first we can write the composite number as product of primes. For example, a number phi of n can be written as phi of l into m. Here l and m are prime numbers, then phi of L into phi of M. We know that whenever L is a prime, phi of L is equal to L minus 1 into phi of M is equal to M minus 1. So that if we take a composite number uh, and a composite number can be written as a product of primes, then the Euler's quotient function of the composite number is equal to, we can express this composite number as a product of primes which is equal to L minus 1 into M minus 1. This is a formula for finding Euler's quotient function when a composite number is given. 
so that if n is a natural number greater than 1 according to fundamental theorem of arithmetic every natural number greater than 1 can be expressed as product of primes in unique way so if we take a natural number n it can be expressed as product of primes p1 power n1 into p2 power n2 into p3 power n3 so on pk power nk when a natural number is given greater than 1 it can be expressed as a product of primes like this then euler's quotient function is phi of n is equal to n into 1 minus 1 by p1 into 1 minus 1 by p2 into 1 minus 1 by p3 so on 1 minus 1 by pk this is the formula for finding uh, euler's quotient function where n value is greater than 1 now let us take a number 12 phi of 12 is equal to 12 can be written as 2 square into 3 to the power of 1 2 square is a 4 4 into 3 we will get 12 12 can be expressed as 2 square into 3 power 1 so let us apply this same formula for finding euler's quotient function of 12 is equal to n into n is the given number 12 into 1 minus 1 by p1 p1 is the first prime number 2 so 1 minus 1 by 2 into 1 minus 1 by p2 p2 is the second prime number it is a 3 then it can be written as 12 into after lcm it becomes 2 minus 1 nothing but 1 by denominator is 2 into and after lcm this uh, becomes 3 minus 1 nothing but 2 by denominator is 3 2 in numerator and denominator cancel 3 in this we can cancel 4 times so euler's quotient function for 12 is equal to 4 and if we write the positive integers less than 12 which are relatively prime to 12 we can take 1 the gcd of 1 comma 12 is 1 2 we cannot take gcd of 2 comma 12 is 2 and 3 also we should not take 4 we cannot select 4 5 gcd of 5 comma 12 is equal to 1 so we can write 5 and coming to 6 gcd of 6 comma 12 which is equal to 2 and coming to gcd of 7 comma 12 it is 1 so we can take 7 and coming to 8 no we cannot take 9 also we cannot take 10 also we cannot take 11 we can select so that uh, euler's quotient function of 12 phi of 12 is equal to 4 so that uh, let us find euler's quotient function for 180 by using this same formula now phi of 180 for finding euler's quotient function for 180 first we have to find the prime factors of 180 now phi of 180 for finding this 180 divided by 2 which is equal to 90 and divided by 2 it is a 45 now divided by 3 15 divided by 3 it is a 5 so 180 can be expressed as 2 square into 3 square into 5 to the power of 1 euler's quotient function for 180 phi of 180 is equal to formula is n into 1 minus 1 by p1 into 1 minus 1 by p2 into 1 minus 1 by p3 you apply that same formula here n is the given number 180 into 1 minus 1 by p1 1 by P1 is a first prime number 2 into 1 minus 1 by P2. 1 by P2 is 1 by second prime number is 3 into 1 minus 1 by third prime number is 5. Then let us simplify this 180 into after LCM it becomes 2 minus 1 1 by 2 into 3 minus 1 it is 2 by 3 into this is a 5 minus 1 which is equal to 4 by denominator is 5. Cancel two in numerator and denominator, and three table in this sixty times, five table in this twelve times. Finally, four uh, into twelve, which is equal to forty-eight. So Euler's quotient function of one eighty is equal to forty-eight. Thank you.